Hello guys, my name is Renato Filizola and in today's training I'm going to show you how to check the logs when a user connects to your Linux machine or your Linux server. The first thing we have to know is what exactly file we need to check. So I'm going to log into my Red Hat. I'm going to enter the password. And I will, all of the, your server logs are in slash var slash log. So I'm going to change the directory, var log. And then I'm going to check with ls-l the files that are inside this folder. As you can see here, we have many different logs, bootlog, btmp, cron, uh, dnf.logs, and so on. The file that we are looking for is the secure log, as you can see here, secure. We can read this file using the cat command. So if I go cat secure, that is the log file for the logins. From this file, we can, we can check the time the person tried to connect to. Uh, you can also see here, for example, connection closed by 192.168.0.66. And actually, this is the IP address the person tried to connect from. Uh, and you can see also here the session was closed for the user root. So if I see here session closed for user root, that means the person was connected with the root account. Okay, so the best way to check or to read a log file is using a command that we can read in a real time which is tail-f. So instead using cat secure, we are going to use tail-f secure. If I do this, as you can see, I'm still reading the file. I'm not in the prompt. I'm still reading the file. I'm inside the file. And whatever entries is going to be like in the logs, we can see right away. We can see in a real time. So I'm going to give some space here just to, to check better. And I'm going to open a terminal in my desktop. So just so you understand, this is my Red Hat 8 server. And I'm going to log in to the Red, Red Hat server from my desktop, which they are different computers, right? Just to make sure you understand. So I'm going to open my terminal here. I'm going to minimize this, just like this. And then we can see my desktop. And we're still reading the file, OK? So I need to know the IP address for the server, which is, I'm going to use ssh root at, and the IP address, which is 192.168.0.158. So that's the command to, to access my server remotely, ssh space root, or the user you want to access from uh, at the IP address, which is in this case is 192.168.0.158. I'm going to hit enter and it's asking, OK, so do you want to access this computer? Uh, the fingerprint will be uh, sent to your computer. I can say yes from here. And then it's going to ask for the root password. I'm going to enter a wrong password. And you can see here in the log, the password check failed 
for user root. So I try to access using my root account. Okay, and it says here, okay, so your root account password has failed. And after that, the time the person tried to, to access the computer, uh, an authentication failure. Okay, with the UID, which is the root UID, UID zero. And the IP address host that was trying to access from, it was my IP address actually, 192.168.0.66 using the root pass, the, the root user. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again with the correct password. I'm gonna enter the correct password. And now you can see here that I'm connected using the root account and the Red Hat server. And now it says in the log file, accepted password for root from the same IP address, 192.168.0.66 using SSH2, which is the uh, secured shell version two. And it says session opened for user root, which UID is zero. That's the UID for root. And I've connected to the server. If I exit from the server, it also shows that it was disconnected from the user root and the IP address for from my desktop or the computer that I was accessing from okay and it says okay session closed for user root and in my desktop it says connection to 192.168.0.158 is closed and now I'm back to my desktop terminal okay so I hope you guys like this 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 video and please give us a thumb if you like this video please give us a comment and please subscribe to our channel to receive some updates any new video i post you're gonna see right away okay guys thank you so much see you later bye